Jane Lynch. Over the years, I've acted in some pretty great projects, and I have a ton of stories. I'm going to share a few in a segment called Jane's World. Where are you going? I'll see a friend. The Fugitive. That was back when I was living in Chicago, and um, they were uh, uh, shooting my close-ups, and I'd never been in a movie before. I think I'd done a small part in a movie before, but this was kind of the biggest part I ever had. And as they were doing my close-up, um, Harrison Ford pulled me aside and he said, close your mouth. I said, what? He said, your mouth is hanging open. Like this, he said, I don't care how smart you are, you'll look stupid. And so, from now on, I, I don't let my mouth hang open. But the silver lining of this cloud, <laughs> of course, is that, you know, it brought us to a new level in our relationship. Best in show. Um, let's see, I was doing a Kellogg's Frosted Flakes commercial, and I showed up for the callback for that commercial, and it was being directed by Christopher Guest. And he told me at lunch time while we were shooting that Kellogg's Frosted Flakes commercial, he said, you know, I do movies, and I'm like, yeah, I know. He said, I hope we get to work together someday, and within six months, Best in Show came up, and I was in Vancouver shooting that. Do you have any weed? The 40-year-old virgin. Um, we all showed up every day, even if we weren't in the script. He, it was almost like being on a basketball team. We were like sitting on the bench, and um, Judd would like say, Jane, get in there, or Seth, get in there, or Paul, Rudd, get in there. And, and uh, a lot of it was uh, just people being thrown in. It was almost like an improv game, you know, where you throw people in and out and uh, make different things happen, and it was a lot of fun. Did you offer your womb to give birth to her child? Now, the L word, when the L word first came out, of course, for every lesbian in, in the world, it was a big deal. And there was a, 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 a talk down at the WGA, and Eileen Chaikin, who was the creator and head writer and executive producer on that show, <laughs> Eileen, I said, I would love to be on your show. And she said, okay, I may be calling you, you and you do it, right? I said, in a New York minute, I remember I said that, in a New York minute. And I uh, was cast like about probably six months, seven months later. Guest runs out of cheese. How are you going to feel about that? Terrible. Party Down. That was a happy accident of casting. It was one of those things where we shot the pilot in Rob Thomas, who was the uh, uh, creator and writer. He paid for the pilot himself. He hadn't sold it, so he paid for it, and we shot it in his house. And we um, all changed, all of us, we had just met. We all changed in the same bedroom, his bedroom, the master bedroom. And we really got to know each other well, and the pilot was such a blast. And when it was picked up uh, for series, it was almost like, really? And that, ladies, gays, in-betweeners, and hag for life, is how it's done. When I was first cast in Glee, um, the, 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 my character hadn't been written in the pilot. It, I, I was added. Um, uh, Kevin Riley, who was running Fox at the time, said to Ryan Murphy, you need a, um, you need a, uh, you know, a villain. And he, yeah, from what I understand, he said, Ryan said, um, she shall be the cheerleading coach. She will be named Sue Sil Sylvester, and she will be played by Jane Lynch, which is, I, I love to think that that's the truth, and I hope it is. You have the full support of the DOJ. Manhunt, Unabomber. This is a, a Discovery Channel's first scripted series, and um, I was honored to play the, the role of Janet Reno, our attorney general. It's uh, the behind the scenes at the FBI uh, uh, story of um, how these really brave FBI agents and ultimately the Attorney General making the, um, the, the final decision to publish Ted Kaczynski's manifesto in a newspaper, which is akin to negotiating with terrorists. Um, and I was really proud to play Janet Reno. I was a big fan of hers when she was the Attorney General, and um, I'm even more of a fan of hers. She had great integrity and independence and um, let the, you know, the, the, the facts lead her to where she needed to go in any particular case. And she was handling about five or six huge cases at the time she was Attorney General. So watch Manhunt, Unabomber, uh, the latest addition to Jane's World, starting Tuesday, August 1st at 9 on Discovery.